Hello and welcome to today's lesson. We are going to remind ourselves what learning theories and technology integration are, examine the relationship between these theories and technology integration before breaking out into groups for guided discussions followed by presentations from a member of each group. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe what learning theories are, the relationship between these theories and technology integration, as well as a list, at least one application of technology integration in your field. Behaviorism is based on the idea that knowledge and the learner are two independent entities. In a behaviorist mind, the learner is a blank state that should be provided with information to be learned. In behaviorism, a stimulus is expected to trigger a response. This process involves repeated actions, verbal reinforcements, and incentives. Learning occurs when the provided stimulus leads to change in behavior. Behaviorism is great for establishing rules, especially for behavior management. An example of a well-known behaviorist is B.F. Skinner. In contrast, cognitivism focuses on the idea that students focus information that they receive rather than simply respond to such information. Even though a behavior change is still evident in cognitivism, the responses involve thinking and processing of information. In cognitivism, learning occurs when the student reorganizes information either by finding new explanations or adapting old ones. An example of a well-known cognitivist is Jean Piaget. Constructivism is based on the premise that we construct learning of new ideas based on our own prior knowledge and experiences, and this learning is unique to the individual learner. Students adapt their models of understanding either by reflecting on prior theories or resolving misconceptions. Constructivists are categorized in different groups based on their views on how learning occurs. For instance, John Dewey holds that learning should be hands-on as it occurs through a connection to real-life experiences. Whereas, Lev Vygotsky introduces what he calls zone of proximal development, commonly known as scaffolding. As a result, a cognitive development is directly linked to social development. In other words, individual differences, personal creativity, influence of culture, and language use. So let's take a few minutes and discuss what exactly the following theories or the following individuals say in line with the learning theories that they sub supported. The second part of this lesson talks about technology integration. In this part of this lesson, we define what is technology integration and its relationship to learning theories. First, let us begin by defining what is educational technology. Educational technology includes both instructional technologies which focus on technologies that the teachers employ to provide instruction and the learning technologies which focus on technologies used by learners to accomplish specific learning objectives. Therefore, integrating technology in, into teaching and learning involves the process of determining which electronic tools and which methods for implementing them are appropriate for given classroom situations and problems. As a result, we can define technology integration as the effective implementation of educational technology 
to accomplish intended learning outcomes. So, why do we do technology integration in education? Technology integration enables learning anywhere, anytime, increases transfer of knowledge to problem solving, gene helps generate motivation to learn, helps develop information literacy and visual literacy, as well as foster creativity and group cooperation amongst the learners. Technology integration in behaviorism is used in order to keep track of students' efforts, attitudes, and behavior modifications. Technology integration lessons that relate to behaviorism are geared towards getting the desired outcome in order to change the students' attitudes and encourage them to achieve at the highest level in their learning experiences by use of various technologies. Educators can start off by allowing students to use technologies, technological tools and learn passively for a class or two as they actively engage in learning the new skills. The relationship between technology integration and cognitivism involves the use of technology that helps students to gain mental and cognitive knowledge as a way of improving their studies. Such an integration can be best suited for teaching of thematic lessons. Technology integration in the con cognitivist approach encourages students to be team players by giving each learner a chance to learn and develop useful knowledge that can be used in a creative manner. Engagement and active learner participation is fostered by the use of technology in a constructivist perspective. In addition, students are intrinsically motivated to learn due to the meaningful nature of engagement and, they, and them relating whatever they are learning with prior knowledge and experience. As a way of conclusion, let us watch a short video on the exact technologies that would be interacted, integrated by each of the theories discussed. Okay, so now we're going to take the learning theories and see how they fit educational technology. So for behaviorists, they would have students watch YouTube videos or other media venues to learn their new material. Then the student would do an assignment and receive a grade. Cognitivists, they, they would have students use videos, sound clips, or different forms of presentations to learn their new material. And then the students would store this into their short-term and then long-term memory. Constructivists would have students use blackboard, email, blogs, textbooks, journal articles, encyclopedias, and different forms of video chatting to complete an assignment based on a real-world problem or issue. According to connectivists, they would have students work in groups to create an online blog, portfolio, or web page to learn new material. Also, students would use the internet, online journals, ebooks, and regular textbooks to help complete this assignment. Okay, self regulation theorist. According to Zimmerman, students will be working by themselves and motivating themselves to complete an assignment. Also, too, according to Zimmerman, learners will rely on the environment for support and guidance. In a nutshell, the proper integration of technology with a clear view of the theories of learning in mind can guide educators in infusing technology into the classroom in all levels of the educational system. At this stage, we will break into three groups based on how you are seated. Each member of your group will be expected to go present at least one technology integration example in their area or speciality and proceed to discuss that example in the group. You can delegate one person to take notes and make a summary of the points noted. Compile such summaries in a PowerPoint presentation. This exercise will take 15 minutes after which you will go on a short break and begin 
presentations right after the break. Thank you.